Greetings, I'm Professor George F. Smoot, Nobel Laureate in Physics 2006. I'm greeting you from Paris, because due to travel restrictions, I'm not able to fly to Hong Kong and attend the competition in person. The Hong Long Mathematics Awards is a unique high school research competition that challenges students to approach problems in a scientific way and find solutions to the research process. The stamina and skills required are quite different from some classroom learning and test-based competitions, and the experience can certainly give students an edge in their future studies. Mathematics and science, particularly physics, have changed how we understand the universe and how we live our lives in the 20th century. I want to share a practical example from right now. I recently did a PET scan, a PET CT scan, where you swallow a isotope that has positron emitter, the positron is emitted, annihilates with an electron, and you get back-to-back -back gamma rays. And it works by looking for two back-to-back -back gamma rays with exactly the right energy from the annihilation. Well, only about 1% of the gamma rays escape from your body in pairs, that is about 10% come out of your body without scattering or some other effect. So that only 1% of the positrons get to be utilized. Imagine that instead of just solving the problem for exact back-to-back -back gamma rays, you could find some that are kicked at an angle, figure out by the energy what angle they went to, and look to see where they would intersect. You could get back a big factor, maybe a factor of 50, in terms of how precisely you can measure things or how low a dose you might need. And this is a, a simple research problem, although is coupled with what kind of detectors and direction sensors can we make. But that's a practical example of how our lives have changed because with mathematics, we've learned how to solve the problem, look for the intersection of two back-to-back -back gamma ray pairs, and then reconstruct where they came from. Our lives in the 20th century are very dependent on these kinds of advances. And because we have global challenges, science literacy is gonna be more important than ever. A great many discoveries started with them learning how to do research and then actually doing research and uncovering things. So I hope you've enjoyed the journey for this competition, and I hope you're inspired to do more research in the future. Let us all review how the students are doing and be enthusiastic about what a tremendous job they've all done. And we'd like to thank the Hang Lun Mathematics Competition for sponsoring this process and encouraging all of us, young students and older people, to do these challenges. Thank you very much.